Hello and welcome to today's video. This is my first time uh, filming for my brand new phone, which is the use of this front camera here on my YouTube channel. I have a brand new OnePlus 8 Pro, um, which is fantastic. So it just gives me time to like um, analyze on how the video quality is. Today's video is about um, what furries can learn about being in lockdown um, and things like that. So here we go. So we we um, obviously love going to furry conventions. Um, meet up and socialise and being able to fursuit around and stuff, which is awesome because we have this spiritual connection to anthropomorphic uh, animals and we love to draw art through it and and being that actual character. Um, but uh, it's, it's a f feeling of being that character so it's like you transform from your real self to the character and then it gives you the confidence of being that of while performing as that character you have you'll be it's a lot easier with interactions and, and stuff and that goes with um, a lot of introverted type people you know when they wear disguise they feel more comfortable pretty much it's kind of um, a psychological thing, indeed. Um, also, I've been um, look, looking at a few videos of Behind the Mask. Cause, so there's these um, mascot performers that do mascotting at, with their, probably their university basketball team or like the the mascot of the NBA or whatever. So there's a few videos around of those on YouTube that I've been looking at called Behind the Mask. So what these mascot, few mascot performers have been saying, sort of like a similar say, saying that we say as furries, um, people that that do mascotting, they uh, they say pretty much when they put a uh, when they put the disguise on the whole head and bodysuit and everything they they feel the great feeling of acting as that character and being able to like act silly and being very different personality compared to their real personality and they feel they said that they feel a deep spiritual connection to that character and it's something that they very much enjoyed. They love running around, doing tumbling, and uh, entertaining the crowds, and uh, and the fans, the kids, and lots of charity work and things like that. And they feel very rewarded from doing that kind of work. And they absolutely um, feel the love and connection for being that. For being that character so you will feel different and um, you and once you put the disguise on you end up with a different character of yourself so you end up being very different and you know it's like having two personalities so yeah that's that goes with mascots and as well as furries, furries feel the same when they fur suiting, or like non suiters in the fandom, they have a connection to their personas that they've got drawed, or like the com badge that they can wear going to fur me, or a con somewhere that they have their persona on. They have that connection to that character that they can feel. Um, which which is pretty awesome. So what I'm talking about here is um, 
you know, what have we learned from lockdown thing? Um, with the lockdown thing, what I noticed was I seen a lot more artwork flowing out everywhere on Twitter and places. So what I mean by that is I seen a lot more creativity happening, you know. Um, I was watching a few um, prison programs, so it's a sort of like a similar thing. And prisoners are very, they get very creative with things. So, for example, if if they can't lift any weights or anything, because they don't have gym equipment or something, they they pretty much be creative, and they do, and um, they'll probably do a. Uh, like a broomstick or something and then put jugs on the side of water filled up and then do weightlifting on that. Prisoners get very creative and they and they um be able to invent new things and being able to have um logical thinking. Um lockdown kind of is a is a similar pattern that I notice with um, some furries that they draw a lot more than than usual, so I seen a lot more art on Twitter as as usual, which I have um, noticed, and um, I seen a lot of uh, fur furries going on VR chats and being able to create their avatar, and they they're even more creative about it. So they hang around on VR chats and some VR chats have cons going on so they attend the cons there and things like that so let's look at history here now I know I'm going on so much further am I it's just <sighs> We are we are human beings, but we always had connection to animals, or by what we see. For example, if any human being sees an animal, like in the forest back in the ancient times or whatever, they cannot stop thinking about that animal because it's cute and it's memorable and it's stuck in your mind and um in what we're talking about, uh, they did we did art even in ancient times like even in australia these aboriginal people um they did art and they did it on the rocks like like in places like Alice Springs or wherever where in any outback in the Australia so back in those times um, they did a lot of art on the rocks or whatever and it was very creative because obviously we don't have technology those times and things like that that distracts us from creativity so the the there were aboriginal people uh even drawed kangaroos because obviously there were a lot of kangaroos there and um they did art of a kangaroo when i was in australia that was a long time ago. I've seen this really impressive art, and it's it's been there for many years. Like it's literally ancient art that is still on a walk to this day, and it is of a kangaroo. I was looking at it. I was like, that is amazing, and you know, I I and it's just so much creativity in being able to draw that on a walk. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Oh yeah, talking about Egypt, um, you know, in ancient Egypt times, um, there is like these ancient, ancient Egyptian gods and, and obviously even those times as well, um, some 
somebody, some leader was wearing a jackal's head, which is a, known as Anubis, which also is a, a spiritual connection as well. It's it's kind of a way with the um, religion with that. And, you know, us human beings, we feel for animals and and we even draw them. I mean, we even put them in comics, TV shows, <laughs> um, cartoons and, and things, you know. We just cannot stop thinking about animals. We think about animals all the time. I mean, even to this day, the, this to this day, we have furries. Um, and even people that, that are not part of the furry fandom, you know, they own a dog or they own a cat because they feel comfortable with a pet and, you know, have, being able to have a pet brings comfort to um, their lives and, you know, being able to share a life with a dog or a cat or a parrot or a budgie or a, um, anything like that. Um, we have humans would have so much love for a pet that they bring into their lives and you know it's we have so much emotion and connection to wildlife and animals and for me for example um yeah i'm a fox um but I do have another fasona as well, which is a coyote. Uh, um, coyotes are my favourites. I absolutely love the features what a coyote is. I the muzzle is nice and narrow and pointy, and the coyote ears is literally something else. I love how they are shaped and how tall they are. Um, a coyote to me is kind of like a fox in a wolf's skin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, I do, I kind of consist, consider myself more of a coyote because of the personality of a coyote. Um, coyotes are very skittish. Um, so it's kind of me the same, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm very introverted, so uh, I find social interactions very difficult. So that's one of the personalities of a coyote. Um, coyotes are very smart. Um, and um, also they're opportunists. Number three, uh, coyotes are opportunists. They will grab anything they can find. And that's obviously me as well. When I see an opportunity for something, I would grab back to it because I know it's valuable sort of thing. So as you can see, what I'm talking about is we all develop personas that we have a personal connection to that fits with some people, it fits their personality, some with some other, some others, it, uh, it, because they love the look of the animal, if, if they feel connected to it, or, yeah, all those, all those sort of things, you know, I mean, it was obvious, you know, looking up back at history, um, we never had any technology. Our creativity was right through reading, art, um, poetry, and hunting. Um, 
making fires to keep us warm and building up shelters and homes, um, huts or whatever. And um, owning a pet, um, thing, things like that things like that. Um, we're also very territorial, humans are, so yeah. Um, so you, if you look back in history, we never had any technology, right? Um, we never had a thing called money or things like that. We never even go by numbers on everything like time the temperatures or not much in mathematics maths or things like that but to this day um we seem to rely mostly on numbers and money um, economy um technology like our phones and things like that, uh, uh, cars, you, you name it, you know, to, um, as you can see is, we got electricity and things, so somehow we feel very relied on electricity technology, and entertaining things like that, that that um, we are not used to having no technology anymore. So with lockdown during coronavirus, yeah, the technology is there, but we couldn't go to like for a conventions or a pub or things like that. But um, but look at it this way. In the past, we 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 started off as hunters. We were hunting, and. We built shelters and, you know, to keep us warm or like in the caves or things like that to like um, battle against predators. We built bows and arrows or like we, we built spears to like defend ourselves and things, you know. But to this day, we don't need that anymore. So it's, we, we, we rely so much on technology that we end up lowering our defences and then we zombify ourselves to like technology and furry conventions and things. So what I'm talking about is, you know, I understand that lockdown affected a lot of people and things, but you know, there is a way to like open your mind. Obviously, we are not used to without technology anymore and things. And what that does is it causes, if say like for example, if you don't have a cell phone anymore, things like that, you feel isolated, you feel depressed, anxious, and all those time of type of things because that's what you're not used to it it's like taking candy away from a baby if you steal candy from the baby would that baby cry yes <laughs> it would <laughs> it's like you've taken a phone from somebody or steal it from somebody that is value to somebody, right? That person would go crazy and he would chase you after you for this. For the and he will report you to the cops or anything. So it goes to show that technology is feels that there is valuable to 
But it doesn't have to be this way, don't it? You know. Lockdown can teach us, remind us of the past. We used to, as human beings, to be able to build shelters to like keep us warm from wet weather or shield from the wind and building fires to cook the food on and whatever we used to hunt for food not like nowadays that we go out and buy it which is a lot easier but we used to go out and hunt and If you think for one second, try to empty your mind, right, do this now. While you're watching this video, while you're listening to me, try to imagine what it will feel like for you that you are living in a well-built hut that you built yourself or shelter, whatever you want to call it. You built a fire, you go out and hunt for food. So how would you feel basically in that situation? You know, you can you see where I'm getting at? Lockdown is teaching us something here. Lockdown is telling us that with furry cons and being able to go to cinema, go to pubs, clubs and things like that, we'd be able to learn to appreciate those things. We'd be able to appreciate, you know, it help, lockdown helps to understand on how appreciating life is. Life, if you think about it, is incredible. Life is amazing. Lockdown to me, of this coronavirus, is a positive thing. And I believe that lockdown can help some people to be able to think, well, I never had it so good. And then they feel, gosh, once I have all these things back after lockdown, I'll be able to appreciate. You know, it's it's about lockdown is kind of a way of teaching us to appreciate life, not to be greedy and not to be spoiled. And it's you know, you'll be able to have appreciation for life and it just makes you think, oh, that's not so bad. You know, it could be worse, couldn't it? Also, what I'm saying is we do have in our blood, in our minds, in your DNA that we don't need technology actually we are just have technology there as a bonus something that that makes life easier and it entertains us money we never had in the past but within this age of capitalism, we have money. It has a bunch of zeros on and numbers. We are kind of, in a way, we are very enslaved 
by numbers. So we're constantly to ourselves thinking politics all the time and, you know, oh yeah, is this politician doing the right thing or this politician doing the right thing? And then we argue with each other within politics saying, oh no, we're spending too much money. Oh no, we are doing too much taxes oh, or too low taxes. And it causes this divide in people. You know, it's... I mean... Money is great, of course. I agree with that. But there are side effects. It's... it's The side effects are... There's divide in people. And then there's po politics with it. And then... And then um, there's... There's like um, the rich and poor gap and middle class with money. But it doesn't, it doesn't have to be this way. It really doesn't, you know. It's, in the end of the day, it's all just numbers. And, you know, somebody could easily reset it to zero all the world's debts are gone in each and every country and then it can start over again but somehow we humans don't think that way we don't but it's these politicians that think oh I have money and it makes me feel good. So it's like money is like medicine or a drug, right? If you take a drug, you want more and more of it, don't you? It's addictive. It's the same thing with politicians and rich people or whatever. You will want more and more and more and more because your brain thinks that way. But there's a way you can unlock yourselves. You can live amazingly well without technology. You can live amazingly well without money. You know, we did it before, we can do it again. I mean, okay, I, I technology makes things easier, but, you know, but, Look back in the past, you know, we we shelter food being hunted for. Um, let's say it this way, everything was DIY, do it yourself, right? You know, you did everything, humans did everything in the past of doing everything yourself. But nowadays, everything's made for us. Everything's made for you. Um, a smartphone is made for you. You didn't make it yourself. It was done by a factory. And then you pay money to buy that phone. So, yeah. It pretty, it's pretty much. So, think about it. Once lockdown is over, appreciate furry conventions, appreciate being you, appreciate with things that you have now. It is absolutely a wonderful thing. You have your persona that is drawn for you. You have a fursuit that is made for you, or you made it yourself. Be able to appreciate again. Being able to have that mind, body and spirit. Have that spiritual connection of yourself. And just be you. Get the feelings of yourself 
and have a passion and the love of your whole surroundings you know you never had it so good and that's what I'm trying to say um, so let's love each other again and you know let's don't think so much about politics so much anymore let's become one one community us you know there are some good people out there you know we can be able to respect each other no matter what you lo look like no matter what you have no matter what status you are rich or poor or how popular you are being able to learn to respect each other again you know and this is what lockdown lockdown of coronavirus could teach you with all these convention cancellations this gives you time to think it gives you time to think reevaluate get the feelings again understand appreciate with what you have appreciate with what we got in today's society you know and if you feel down if you feel depressed that because you haven't got much in your life well think in the past our ancestors humans when they first walked the earth we had we hunted for food we built our shelters with creativity think about it it will make you feel better so this is what lockdown could teach you once furry fake conventions start going again just feel how appreciating it felt to attend a furry convention again and and you know learn what you felt in lockdown keep reminding yourself that you know what we need is really is exercise our mental health hygiene and shelter which creates warmth think about it anyway thanks for watching today's video um, I hope you understand that I'm trying to spread some positivity here um, feel free to subs feel free to subscribe and uh, press the like button and stay fluffy and take care everyone and thank you for listening bye bye for now